so it's too pretty out, outside to uh, go in just yet. So I'm going to do another one of these videos. Um, this one I'm going to do the uh, neck wrap and then the halo and then the, uh, the halo 360 uh, in the end of it. Um, one of your first moves you learn is, is a neck wrap. You want to hold the staff about a quarter or an eighth up from the middle. Um, you know, not down here, not all the way right here, but just, you know, right about there. And uh, bring it up to your neck. Go it across. You're going to catch it in the same place that you threw it, you know, on the other side. And this should run right across your, right across your backbone there. And catch. And catch. And you can also do it really vertical, or you can do it really horizontal if you want. You kind of have to lean forward, do it that way. Right? And this is your halo. You want to hold it a little farther down, a little farther down than last time. And you're going to lay it on your shoulder. So bring the B. So bring the staff up, lay it on your shoulder, and toss it across to the other side. And catch it right there. Right, so from here to there. And just bring it back down. And rewind it and hit play. And practice that a few times. I think uh, a lot of people, when they teach this move, they, they kind of get you to do it like this. Kind of wind your hand up and then just toss it over like that. It's probably good to learn a little bit more that way. Then back out. get used to that feeling. Right, so you take your neck wrap and your Halo 360, or your, your Halo, and you put them together, you get this. What that is, is a neck wrap, and you do a 180, and then you just do a Halo facing the other direction, you know, with the momentum of the staff that it's already got going. Right? And then if you do that, you just turn again, and it's another neck wrap. Like that. And you're going to want to use your, kind of use your shoulder and your neck to maybe pinch it on the way across. Just to get it to where you want it to go. But that move is just so much fun. You can just, you can do it until you get too dizzy not to do it, you know, once you get it down. And it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of transitions in and out of that move. Um, and it's two very basic moves, you know, just put together. And it becomes a very core contact uh, move for the staff. And you can also change directions and stuff like that. You know, if you want to pinch it right here and just toss it back around. Um, but, neck wrap. to 180, new halo, into another neck wrap. Um, something to be noted whenever you neck wrap around, um, you can kind of watch this, this end that's coming around, and it'll kind of lead you. You see how it's moving in a circle, circular fashion like that, and swooping up that way. It's kind of how you're going to move, but you're going to let it go over your head right there. You know? And on its way back down, same, same ordeal, when it's coming down, you watch it and kind of move, move with it, right? So follow it and then follow it. It'll be the same side. See, it's red for both of those, both of those times. This one will be red again. So watch it up and then down. I mean, you stick your arms out, you know, do whatever to get it to get it to hang in there. It's fine. No worries. Uh, that's about it on that one, really. Practice your neck wraps both ways. Really, really vertical, really horizontal. The B360 will be kind of in between, not all the way forward and not all the way, you know, back. It's going to kind of be somewhere in the middle. Really, you know, use your shoulders, use your body, kind of help work the staff around because that's what that's what you've got. You know, use uh, Halo 360. Thank you.